Currently, we are experiencing a short squeeze, therefore, let's discuss this phenomenon. The increasing number of firms being heavily bet against has put significant pressure on hedge funds with short positions. They may promptly determine that this level of stress is overwhelming for them to manage. The image depicts a compilation of small cap stocks, many of which have been subjected to substantial short selling as investing strategies. All of these equities had significant increases compared to the previous day. Indeed, a significant number of them had an increase of 10%, 20%, or even 47% inside a single day. As a result of that surge, several equities such as Carvana, Affirm, and Upstart Holdings continue to perform strongly at present. Be vigilant for it, and let's receive compensation for our efforts. Now, allow me to address the most crucial aspects. In a text message, Kevin Moan expressed his belief that a large and concise organization should commence operations promptly. Nicola, like others, has a preference for Coinbase. As previously discussed, these equities are subject to significant short selling and have a substantial level of short interest. While these stocks are not classified as blue chip stocks, they also do not fall under the category of meme stocks. They are located in a position that is neither at the beginning nor at the end. As previously said, when these hedge funds with limited assets encounter difficulties, they begin by liquidating their short positions on well-established and financially stable stocks, typically triggering a surge in equities such as Nvidia and Tesla. Subsequently, if they continue to experience stress, they proceed to liquidate their positions in these stocks that have been massively shorted, making a frantic attempt to salvage their short positions in meme stocks until the final moments. They are aware that these shorts would not only devastate their hedge fund, but also have a detrimental impact on numerous other hedge funds in the sector. One way to identify their stress is by observing their actions of closing short positions in heavily shorted companies like as Karana, a corporation called Upstart Holdings, Coinbase, and others. This is precisely the same thing we observed yesterday and is continuing to occur today. It would be intriguing to observe the outcome in the coming weeks whether a particular institution is dissolved or decides to address its extensively borrowed securities that are being sold in anticipation of a decline in value. Nevertheless, I want to emphasize that this is merely the inception. In June, there was a previous occurrence of this phenomenon, during which the price of Corona stock surged from $6 per share to nearly $60 representing an increase of about tenfold. Within a span of about two months, the costs experienced a substantial surge, escalating from $11 to a staggering $72. There are seven Xing that may be located in within the past few days. It appears that a period of approximately two months has ended and a new phase has begun. Both Upstart and Karana are showing signs of growth, indicating that their stocks may rise significantly in the upcoming weeks. It will be interesting to observe the extent to which short hedge funds are compelled to close their short positions on these heavily shorted stocks. If the situation becomes excessively chaotic, they may also need to close their short positions on meme stocks. The answer to this question is affirmative. If things spiral out of control, they will indeed have to close their short positions on meme stocks as well. Therefore, we must patiently await the development of these heavily shorted stocks to determine the level of chaos that ensues. As noted by DBook Trading, both Upstart and AI are heavily shorted stocks, with a short interest of over 20% indicating high levels, over 30% indicating very high levels, and over 40% indicating outrageous levels. It is evident that many of the companies that experienced significant price increases yesterday have attracted considerable short interest. Supported by JP Morgan data, it is evident that hedge funds are aggressively shorting the current stock market. The short positions held by these funds are even larger than those observed in June and July. Consequently, if the upward momentum of stocks such as Carvana, Upstart, Firm Coinbase, and others persists, it is highly likely that these short positions will face significant challenges. Furthermore, I would like to briefly discuss the SP500 options trade executed by members of the Millionaire Mindset Trading Group today, which resulted in a remarkable 117% profit. SWI's pre-market announcement stated that the SP500 would have an upward movement if it surpassed the resistance level of $433.52. It is evident that this event did occur, however, it incurred significant expenses and required a substantial amount of time. I entered into a contractual agreement with the group within the time period from 9.41 to 10, wherein I informed them of my intention to repurchase the SPY calls for a nominal sum of $933. The value of the $434 puts has increased by 17%, rising from 92 degrees to 2.5 degrees. If you desire to get the knowledge of generating a daily return of 117%, promptly join the Millionaire Mindset Trading Group.
Associated with furthermore, do you recall the Canadian hedge fund that I mentioned earlier? What is the situation with the company whose portfolio manager was discovered deceased the next day and whose trades were prohibited by Canadian regulators, resulting in market makers incurring significant losses due to mandatory transfers? Virtue, the market maker, incurred significant losses because to the train or ridge. The crux of this story revolves around a lawsuit where morality is suing ridge, the train. Capital, the Toronto-based hedge fund that was placed under a ceased trade order on Monday after its founder had died alleging trainer failed to deliver money for trades it asked Virtue to execute it says Virtue, a trading firm that executes orders on behalf of investment management clients, alleges that it placed 26 buy orders for trainer in September and October but never received the required money before the trade settled just a few days later but was on the hook for these positions because they had already bought the, the shares but never received the money they tried to sell off those shares but realized losses in excess of $5 million, it seems really weird in the space of just one day trainer was normally buying shares, and then just a day later the founder turns up dead with significant losses. And significant FTDs, and also the Canadian Commission, seemingly disclosed that trainer appeared to be in serious financial difficulty as Hang added he said maybe the community can encourage those left at trainer to turn whistleblower on the corrupt market makers who decided to stab them in the back, I am intrigued by the prospect of uncovering the true events behind Trainer's fate. Within a single day, their activities shifted abruptly from engaging in stock trading the act of buying and selling to the unfortunate discovery of the founder's lifeless body and the failure to fulfill a substantial amount of trading transactions. Trainer must have had a significant financial loss on trades, regardless of whether they were long-term or short-term, due to some event or ongoing situation. Furthermore, it is worth noting that Sam Bankman-Fried has lately been convicted on all seven crimes and is now confronted with the possibility of serving a maximum sentence of 115 years in jail. I anticipate that seeing Sam's future actions and the outcome of his sentence will be highly intriguing. Sam has the potential to inform on those individuals in positions of authority in order to receive a reduced sentence, possibly ranging from 5 to 10 years. An intriguing approach to understanding the situation is to observe the outcome of his prosecution. If he receives a sentence of merely five years in prison, it is likely that he either provided information to authorities or has influential connections that are shielding him. In theory, he might face a minimum of 20 years of imprisonment. However, if he cooperates by providing information about individuals such as Ken Griffin, his sentence could be significantly reduced. Lastly, I would like to briefly address the issue of how large hedge funds may effortlessly manipulate their earnings and conceal their losses over an extended period of time, which is detrimental to both investors and auditors. The Securities and Exchange Commission CC announced via Twitter that John Hughes, the President and Chief Operational Officer of Prophecy Asset Management, a registered investment advisor, has been charged for his involvement in a long-term fraudulent scheme that concealed losses amounting to hundreds of millions of dollars from investors. According to the Securities and Exchange Commission's lawsuit, auditors, including John Hughes and his friends, deceived the fund owners by providing false information on the endeavor. Asset management operated multiple hedge funds and claimed responsibility for managing a portfolio exceeding $500 million in assets. Auditors and administrator about the fund's trading practices, risk, and performance, they hid these losses by fudging the books by lying about assets and liabilities, by lying about security solder not yet purchased, and lying about securities purchased not yet sold this fund or these multiple hedge. Funds managed more than $500 million, but actually had invisible losses of $350 million, and it was effectively only discovered when they indefinitely suspended redemptions from investors, and investors started to do their digging, their researching, and their investigating. But so it's interesting to see that actually many of these hedge funds can easily hide losses, not just a few thousand, but they can easily hide hundreds of millions, if not billions, if not billions of dollars in losses. So these hedge funds that are supposedly generating record profits of $16 billion in building, billion doll homes could actually be hiding multiple billions in losses as well. But guys, be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as always, guys, be sure to ding that notification bell, because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers.